本気で来てくださいサムの歌死にますよラウンド1ファイト Command thy soul to God the Father Almighty, and thy body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Damn it, we're late already. Is my tie on straight? Yeah, can't really mess with the clip on. Uh, we never should have stopped. Why is it every time I need to get somewhere we get waylaid by jackassery? Pants! But it was a good thing we did, Pop. The ant people needed our help. Help, Schmel. The big reward they promised us was nothing but an old licked up Charlie Rancher. But they did give us the key to their enchanted underground city. And Brock made special friends with their queen. You can't put a price on that. My point exactly. You try paying the electric bill. I We shall change our vile body. That it may be like unto its glorious eternal super. Holy! Oh. Yama funeral? Oh, great. Thanks a bunch. No harm done. We didn't miss it.
Gathered to bid farewell to our beloved Michael Soriyama, whom the great shepherd, in his ultimate unknowable wisdom, has called back to his heavenly flock. Funerals are creepy. What's the big deal? You see dead guys all the time. When? Dude, just last week, Brock killed two dervishes with a pillowcase full of cokes right in our bedroom. You just knocked them out. Yo, sing yourself another lullaby, baby Dean. The police took them away in body bags. Sleeping bags, those were sleeping bags. Hey, Pop, are we related to this guy? I mean, am I supposed to be all sad and stuff? No, Hank, he's someone your father knows from college. Wow. Is that back when you had hair? <sighs> yes, I had hair then, Dean. Some say too much. No, I haven't cut it yet. I'm growing it out. The kids wear it long these days. Where have you been? Okay, okay. Let's just not fight about it, Rusty. We wouldn't be fighting if you quit writing me about my do. And it's T.S. now. Nobody calls me Rusty anymore. You gonna give me a hard time about that now, too? Not so long as I can still call you son. <sighs> Whatever turns you on. <laughs> um, the helper says hello. Shall I put him on? No, look, Dad, I gotta go. I... <laughs> My father always know when I'm in my room. Hey, do you think I could talk to him, T.S.? Because I'm thinking of switching my major to robotics, and I'd love to pick his brain. Yeah, he doesn't really know that much about robots. They're a fad anyway, Mike. He'd be better off majoring in Betamax for all the good robotics degree he's going to do in a couple of years. I don't know. Blade Runner was just so cool. What's this, Chem 1? Thought you did AP for that in high school. Yeah. No, it, it's not... I'm just... I'm tutoring Leslie Cole. Tutoring? You're doing your homework. That's cause he's got a tiny, shiny chubby for him. Hey, fellas. You were there too, Mr. White? Oh, yeah. I was the DJ for the college radio station and everything. What's a tiny, shiny chub? So you and Pop and this dead guy were all like roommates? No, no. They just hung out in my room a lot. My roommate was a freshman. You believe that? That's all I need. Some kid tagging along or wanting me to show him the ropes. It's gonna totally harsh the vibe of Casa de Venture. So, is he a spaz or what? I don't know yet. He moved his stuff in when I wasn't here. But Dick, his name's Brock Samson. <laughs> Can you imagine? Ten bucks says he's a bad kid. Wait, you live with Brock? That is so unbelievably cool! No wonder you guys are such super pals! Actually, back then we didn't see much of each other. We had very different schedules. Always coming and going at different times.
win. Okay, so the university sticks me with this exchange student. But check it out, he's like a prince or something. His parents sent him a care package last week for his birthday. You know what he got? A personal slave. Poor guy sleeps in my closet. Oh, speaking of dickweed. Hey, Verna. Baron Underbite! Yeah? You told him? No! Baron Underbite! He's right there! Holy crap! Brock! Kick his butt! Just relax, boys. He's not gonna do anything. It's hallowed ground. Huh, so what was he like in the old days? Well, except for the metal jaw, yeah, pretty much the same. A total dick. The tape was on the floor for a reason, Peter. Your things belong on your side of the room. And don't think I haven't noticed that you've moved it to make your area larger. If you cannot obey the simplest of rules... Yeah, well, you don't make the rules, fella. You might be a big shot in your own country, but around here, you're just a kid with the weirdest smelling life. Ah! Very well! Then you leave me with no choice but to take this up to the R.A. at the next floor meeting. Come, my servant. <laughs> Who cuts his hair? The Incredible Hulk? What, did he walk into the barbershop and say, what can you do to make me look more like Pete Rose? Hey, what's wrong with his hair? I have, like, the same haircut. Yeah, but you're Chinese. You people can't be blamed for what your hair does. I'm Japanese, jerk off. But yeah, that's so true. At least I don't have his eyebrows. Oh, you want to see eyebrows? Come to my creative writing class. There's this kid, no joke, they're out to here. And the weirdness doesn't stop there. All he writes are these way too specific poems about monarch butterflies. Total closet case. Okay, this is just getting nuts. You are not going to tell me you went to college with the monarch too. Where did you guys go? Super crazy no way school? It was Michael's last wish that he'd be escorted to his eternal resting place by those who were closest to him in life. T.S. Venture, Peter White, Werner <coughs> Underbite, <coughs> Brock <coughs> Samson, if you would please. Certainly not solid enough to suck in this shitty realm. I let him live here rent free, as long as it doesn't scare anybody. Ah! Stop screaming, I'm not supposed to scare anybody. Oh, bitch. People don't appreciate ghosts. Do you know how painful it is to go bump in the night all the time? But well, we do it, because we're ghosts, and that's our thing. Noah's been leaving behind residues a lot more than usual lately. And what you got here is your classic ad. Great three ectoplasm is real nasty stuff. I used to wipe them up, but then I learned that most plasms are a sign of a ghost in heat for possession. Oh shit! I'm noticing a pattern here. Yeah, I started my own YouTube channel. I did a bunch of ghostly shit. The only problem is that no one believed me. Well, doesn't that just soften my little ghost dick? Yes, play it faster! I'm playing it fast like hell! I said play it faster! This is my favorite song! Someone help! I had a wet ecto dream and I feel myself in! If you don't release this goddamn janitor, I'm gonna start charging you rent! I don't want how assertive you are. You really know how to come in the room. Oh, I can't exercise so who's boosting my self-esteem. You got a real breathable ass. I mean, I have been working on my squats and such. Oh, shit. Hey, son of a bitch, don't go outside. Don't think he's a power. Stop 
priest does not know what he's talking about. Now, I've met God, and let me tell you, God is like every ex I've ever had. All right, which one of y'all poly got touching my ball? He's been in all my other friends, and he only notices you when you're on your knees. Good night. <laughs> something planned for next week, I think. But no. So much for that theory. Dean, what are you doing? I know you missed Dad already, but this is no time to go through the old photo albums. We need to get busy and come up with a rescue plan. I'm thinking we bust out the hover bikes, load them up with, like, hand grenades and plasma cannons. No, Hank, I... Hear me out, Dino. You're a smart kid and all, but you're not a wartime consigliere. Hank, we're not grown up enough to rescue Dad and Brock by ourselves. We need help. What about the ant people? They owe us one. I've got a better idea. Alive. Sir, you don't know me, but I'm Jonas Venture's grandson. Our dad's been kidnapped. We think a ghost might have done it. Say no more, lads. Dean Venture is on the case. Just you sit tight and I'll summon the others. P.K., lay out my traveling suit and fetch my walking stick. The quest is afoot. Hey, no you stalwart old man mountain. We're needed once again. Master Rusty's in trouble. Silence your patience. Do you have a moment to talk about the Lord? That's okay, kids. Are we in the kingdom of the Lord? Oh, Rodney, no. You're too old. You're gonna get hurt. Ah, for court's sake, Jeannie, I gotta do this. I took an oath. Now, where are the pads? What pads? The maxi pads gathering dust under the sick. What the hell pads do you think? My action man uniform knee pads. Oh, those. The ones that go on your uniform. And now she gets it. What does it look like I'm doing here? My parking spot. That is my parking spot. I detect conflict. And I detect a cheap knockoff. Entering argument mode. Why don't you enter my asshole? Assessing threat. Ancient. Ugly. Crusty. Assess this. There are three clinics in your area. I like my diseases. Well, I like my parking spot. Goodbye. No, hello. The police have been notified of your bullshit. He doesn't tell me you're gonna bring the doll with the moving toss. You mean the doll whose biopic brought in more cash than your entire flop trilogy? The next one goes in the USB hole. You're just a toddler with termites. You're just a Tamagotchi with tits. Pulling up your browsing history. You don't have the bandwidth. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, I did it. What the fuck is happening? You can't have my parking space. Your car is gay just like your face. Did I do that, bitch? You think I must have full coverage?
Ich sag im Tragable, Samson, du siegsiedet nix, wo sie mein Sins der Plan, du lock mein Sins in der Dungeon, chain to an Albino. Great, wait a bodyguard. Got any more super theories about who did this to us? Oh, hey, guys, it's really you. I'm so glad you all made it. Son of a gun, you really surprised me. I didn't think you'd all show up for my funeral. And now, I get to return the favor. Good day to you. Sure no horrors, gentlemen. RAF MI5 and Shatara retired. We spoke on the watch. May I introduce my counterparts from the original team venture? Kano, master of the martial arts. How do you do? Careful, lad. Whose hands of his are strong enough to crush a boulder. You're delicate enough to crush a butterfly. Otto Aquarius, exiled son of Atlantis. Zell, you can Finally, the action man. How you doing? <laughs> so, enough of the formalities. What say we get down to it? Stop, guys. This is your last meal. I had it brought in special from the State University Dining Hall. Mike, it's nice to see you're not dead at all, but are you going to tell us why you've got us chained up in a dungeon? Yeah, Pally, what the hell? Thank you, ladies. You're welcome, Mike. You love Mike. My robots are beautiful. Notice anything familiar about them? Yeah, I had that issue at Heavy Metal, too. Now quit screwing around, Mike. What's this about? They're what this is about, Rusty. Look closely at their faces. Leslie Cohen? <laughs> Don't they look just like her? You made Leslie Cohen robots. Jeez. Yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. Sure, but why would you do that, fella? Who we'll have sex with Pete? I think that's obvious. The man was obsessed with her in college. So? He was obsessed with Coco from Fame the year before. Leslie different! I loved her! Then why don't you just let us all go, pick up the phone, and call her up like someone who's not a total freak? Because of the restraining order. And because I need to make you all pay for what you did to me. What did we do to you? Funny you should ask, Werner. I have a list, and you're first. <laughs> birthday blowout. Damn it, Kim! It's too many lights, Kim! The bitch blew every fuse in the house! So, I found this cute little Airbnb off Etsy. I just love apps. Okay, so somebody in this household has made it very clear that dirty dishes are not okay. Yeah, that someone is our f***ing host. Wash the dishes and we wouldn't have a problem. My name is Annabelle. I am a haunted doll between six and a hundred years old, and I've learned the Airbnb game is very competitive. Why does no one fuck me? Do you want us to be honest or nice? I want you to bleed. Alright, honest. You need a makeover. Finally, my gender is fully realized. Chris, I'm here to pick up my child support checks, you broke bitch. Wait, it was your turn to clean the microwave this week. What the fuck have they done to you, Kylie? Now I gotta deal with a haunted doll and Annabelle? I want money! Annabelle, you little plastic pervert, I know you're watching me when I sleep. I don't want you to sweep. You sweep in my watching zone. Annabelle is toxic. God damn the Kardashians! She left a note in crayon when literally we have a group chat. Look, just because I can't read doesn't mean I can't tell this is an empty threat. Why don't you say that to what's left of Kylie? 
got Kendall. Annabelle threatened to eat me. <laughs> Annabelle, or like Cannabelle. Oh my God. <laughs> You gotta go and kill every single member of your hit TV family. Okay, like literally for the millionth time, I did not do it. It was our roommate, Annabelle. Yeah, about that. I actually did search the house for this girl you described, and I found someone who did match that description. Uh, well, the only caveat was she's made of plastic and wood. Okay, and where is that plastic and wood heifer now? Somewhere safe from you. Priest came by this afternoon, picked up a little bitch. I know she's evidence, but I also know you're guilty. Found your fuck buddies, you can stop haunting me. Hi, I'm Annabelle. Hi, I'm gay. I thought I told you I want Chucky. I want McDonald's. You shouldn't eat fast food, it's unhealthy. You shouldn't be gay, it's uninspired. Hey, why don't you go fuck yourself, huh? That's it, you're both getting exercise when we get home. God damn it. I don't want to hear it. Ah, oh, there she is, the queen of the skies and of day, a gleaming metal beauty. Oh, what memory is she conjured? So, tell us who we're up against, boys. Who took your father? Was it the Velvet Phantom? The Invisible Fist? The Mesmerist? Troublemakers Incorporated? Look, we don't know who did it! We don't care! We just want to find Profit Bra! Now that part's gravy pie. Your granddad implanted a homing device in one of your father's mowers when he was just a kid. Yes, little Rusty had a penchant for getting himself kidnapped about once a fortnight. Why, well, I remember one time. I believe it was during the case of the Metal Man Bingo. What's that sound? Gas! We're being attacked! Simba! Honey! Attack! Attack! Holy crap! No! Don't! He's just our neighbor! Sure, I know what you're thinking. He looks like a Dracula. But on his engine, he's okay. I was. Wow, Dr. O. I didn't know you could turn into snakes. I can't. I really adept at clouding the minds of men and obfuscating that which their eyes perceive. Really, I was right here the whole time. <laughs> they ain't snakes either. Put him up. Seventeen years. Uh, from a stroke. Good day! You like it? Pure Underlandian sesame. Ah, you're right, Underbite. This is some good stuff. <laughs> that rhymes. Right? Underbite! <laughs> Psych! <laughs> it's oregano! You've been smoking a lie, you tiny fool. <laughs> Come on, Mike, you're not high. Give it up. Bye. Allergic. Oregano. <coughs> it wasn't funny. I could have died, Werner. More importantly, I had to cancel my study date with Leslie. That's it. I will tolerate no more of this madness. <laughs> else like to test my Leslie bots? Good. On to you, Pete. Weird seeing someone else drive the X1. Relax, lad. Despite his racial handicap, Kano here is a crackerjack pilot. Why, he could land her on a puffin or a schmaff. Hey, how come you're not all the old stuff like the other guys? I am. I just age slowly because I'm half a lampion. Well, how do I get to be one of those? A drunken sailor has to have his way with your merbob, kid. You know, if you're interested in a longer life, I have some good news to share with you. Really? Uh, thanks. We're coming up on it. 
Hey, no! Bring her down! Hey, what the fuck? Watch your leg, you bitch. Where is she? Where, where's who? Hey, what are you guys doing? Alright, punk, what did you do with him? Who do you work for? Leave the boy be, Rodney. That molar has obviously been here for ages. No, kid. Oh, I don't think time machines figure into this caper. This is, after all, the same university young Rusty attended 20 years ago. Ah, yeah. Jonas made us move his stuff in here. Young Rusty most probably removed his own tooth. In a somewhat misguided fit of youthful rebellion. Boys, is there anything you forgot to tell us about the kidnapping? Anything at all that might be helpful? It's like we said. We went to the funeral for my dad's college friend, Mike Sur... So Sonor Suriyama? Professor Suriyama? He didn't die, did he? Because if he did, why am I blasting my ass on this term paper? Dude, be. People don't come to church like they used to. So, I decided to do something about that. Evil is among us tonight. Your recent lack of attendance has angered the dead. Man, the dead. Say that to my face, you lousy breeder. I said, oh, oh, last week that stupid priest told me that I need to start paying rent. Yeah, I'll start paying rent when you start paying taxes. Say that again, motherfucker. Lights that holy water and piss. So he made me his little show pony to try and pull in more believers. Can you believe that? That's fake and gay. Oh, really? Okay, this shit is dark sided and I refuse to believe it's real. How about now, bitch? Hello. And could you believe it actually worked? Turns out everyone wants to be possessed, scared, spooked, or impaired. And now that I can supply all four, I'm booked up to my asshole and drowning in that Lord's money. Peekaboo is Annabelle. Living in a holy place does have its fair share of difficulties. Time is irrelevant. I didn't like Annabelle at first, but I guess with all this money we've been raking in, the pastor finally said, I gotta get you both out of the house. Usually I'm only allowed in public on Halloween when I blend in with all you turd pushers. But now that we can afford human disguise, I fucking hot. I haven't had this much fun since I was full of blood, piss, and cum. Oh, that's a nice sandcastle, Noah. Fuck you, I wanted to go to Alaska. Oh, well, Annabelle, where did you get that? I cannot recall at this time. You're listening to The White Room. I'm your host, the ever-popular Pete White. This next one's a dedication to Leslie Cohen from her little buddy, Mike Soriyama. And he writes, Leslie, I masturbate furiously to your picture every night. Please notice me. <laughs> Love, Mike. Hey, I got kicked off the air for that. Isn't that enough? <laughs> nah, not by a long shot, Pete. <sighs> Go ahead and laugh while you can, Rusty. You're next on my list. Out of everyone, you betrayed me the most. The old fake coffin trick. That sucks. You'd think I would have remembered that one for the mystery of the old fake coffin. Gentlemen, we don't know what we're up against here. We may not all survive this evening. I will. I've got two years and 17 days left. Brilliant, Rodney. Good for you. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't be part of this, Horace. What are you talking about, man? I can't consort with a sodomite, an idolater, and a murderer anymore. If you want to dine at the table of demons, go ahead. But I won't. Thank you. What's it like to be hopping ass crazy, Otto? I mean, do you even see the same colors I do? Please, Rodney. Otto, why the devils did you come all this way if you had no intention of aiding us? I thought it would be a good chance to witness to you all. I have to log all of my witnessing time. I doubt her. All right, all right. But there is one thing you can do to help us, Shadow. Salutations. Do you have a moment to talk about the Lord? Um. Now! Good work, Shadow. Go, Go Team Avengers! Huh? Now that's how it's done! Okay.
Okay, gentlemen, here's the plan. Wow, must be real nice to be going on vacation with money you've made exploiting the dead. Today we're exposing our local church for profiting off innocent ghouls. These pumpkin spice sluts are about to fuck us. But first, a word from our sponsor. Come on down to Helen's Pants. We'll find your perfect pumpkin mitts. We got the game. We got the corn. And for you perverts, we got the gourds. Welcome back to us. We're here at the church, but not for praying. We're going to find justice and Wi-Fi. We got to get these whores out of here before they fuck our business at the congregation. skin is like rock. What the hell's a Leslie Golem? A very powerful creature that looks just like Leslie Cohen. Oh, oh, for, me, for my Looks sake. like Leslie Cohen, huh? Well, then my wizard seduces her. What? You can't do that. Sure I can. I have like 25 charisma points. I want to seduce her. No, don't. It's Leslie. Oh, oh, oh. oh come on. You're gonna kill me because I had fake sex on graph paper with a girl who barely spoke to you in real life? Don't act so innocent, Rusty. How do you explain what happened the next morning? Oh, hey, Mike. <laughs> Reggie? I did no such thing. I didn't lose my virginity till I was 24. It must have been Brock. Oh, this is going to be a fitting punishment for that big bully. You all must secretly be thanking me for this. You were there. You know what he did. The night of our last D&D game. Of course, none of us knew at the time he'd been thrown off the football team that very day for accidentally killing Tommy the quarterback. Or that he'd get super drunk on his way back to the door. But that still doesn't justify what he did. Who the hell are you? I think that's your roommate, Rust. How about you, sir? Now, Hank, I think he's just a robot. 
Which means the real Mike Sorman M and I is probably hiding somewhere. And I think I know where. <laughs> One thing I know, like I know my uh, name. So I really did you die. So what? He programmed his robots to hate us too? I guess. Well, that makes about as much sense as anything else today. So, why do you say we get out of here before he starts to stink? Huh? Uh, Rust? Sorry, man. I don't know what came over me. Anyway, they cut my scholarship, so... I'm out of here. Gonna join the army. Final round. Fight. Oh, yeah. Someone from, uh, Venture Industries called while you were at the infirmary. Your dad died. Later. You owe me two million dollars! Now you owe me two million and twenty dollars! Well, now I only owe you two million and five dollars!